Yeah. Uh. It's got sound. I feel like the sound's died. Oh, it's loading for so long. There it is. This car sounds cool, handles cool, and for some reason the game just fucking shoots it in the foot with high speed. Like, um, as in, like, every other muscle car I have has the same kind of power level and stuff and is, like, similarly cool, but for some reason this car, they nerfed it with top speed so that it's got, like, a 4 rating on top speed. Like, it cannot go past, like, a ridiculously low top speed. Apparently. But then we're gonna see here how it's the stats are just made of bullshit. They have no impact on the game. And it's just like their rating system makes everything sound terrible and then you go, oh okay, uh, I won't use this then because it makes the car worse because the number go down. And then it turns out actually it's way better for the car if you do that. Like, I've already spoken at length about how drift and dirt cars in this game, you literally, like, I have to do this, and it goes, Warning, it will lower your car's performance to dog shit, and you're like, You're literally creating game, like, game modes where I have to do this to the car. <laughs> and, like, it goes, Ooh, put drag tires on your car, put drag tires on your car, it makes it go faster, and it's like, then it handles, like, absolute shit, and will not drive other than in a straight line, basically. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> game is dumb. Game is dumb! Why game dumb? It encourages you to make poor decisions. So I'm having fun with this. This is the Camaro SS. I'm very sad they have one Camaro, and it's not the Z28, or the IROC, but can't have everything, I guess, clearly, because they have the Charger, but not the Challenger, and they have the modern Challenger, but not the modern Charger, and it's just a mess, uh, and then they have, like, four different Fords, and none of them are the Mark One. so, go figure, really just a grab bag, hey, we can get Dodge, okay, we'll just get, like, this, plasticky muscle car, the Charger from 1969, literally every car game tries to get, and the Viper, like, no, no Coronet, <laughs> no old school Challenger, no Dart, no Gay. Surprised they got a Plymouth in here, holy shit. I feel like the only reason games nowadays are going, ooh, we better include Plymouth is because Kevin Hart has one. I, I honestly think that, like, all because they were, one was in a Fast and Furious game, because, like, when I was living in New Zealand, those were really popular, but, like, no one talked about them in modern media, they're like, oh, you need a Dodge Charger or a Ford Mustang, if you want to have a muscle car, maybe a Chevy Camaro or Corvette, and you're like, okay, uh, that's the ones that, like, the mainstream knows. And then you're like, oh, look, look at this. It's, it's this weird company called Plymouth. <laughs> and, uh, like, in New Zealand, they're weirdly popular. And, like, you know, getting old Plymouths, because they're not oh, recognized. Like, big thing in the New Zealand is they've gentrified making muscle cars like a thing. So if you want a brand new... Uh, as new restored Dodge Charger, you will pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to get one. But if you want a restored, like Holden or some shit, or like a restored, like less popular car, like a Chevy Impala or like something like that, around that level, that's only like not perfect condition, but okay, it's drivable, or like a Something like that, like around that level, it's not as popular. Dodge Dart maybe. It's relatively affordable. And then some assholes in Hollywood went, hey look, there's a club of fucking hell, and now they're really expensive. 
no one knew what the fuck they were for ages. No, I mean the mainstream. Obviously, like, people in the scene already knew what they were this whole time. But, you know, that kind of means now you can have a Plymouth in almost every racing game, which is good, but now the in the real world, owning a Plymouth is, like, fucking murder, so... Thanks, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin Hart? Yeah, or Kevin Smith. <laughs> So this is fun. I like this, like the way they've handled it. It is a story mode car, as in like heavily featured in the story is a yellow Camaro, and like that's like the whole crux of the story. So I guess they had to make it a popular, like a good to run car. But like again, apparently terrible top speed. But I'm doing 180, so it's not really that bad. The same as everything else, really. I mean, obviously, like, my Mustang from the previous video was doing, like, 200 pretty easily. Little racer? The littlest racer that could. I'm just gonna try and outrun these guys. If there are any units standing around, get them over here ASAP. But yeah, it's gonna be harder to pull away from guys in races, uh, in chases with this. Because it's going pretty fast, but like, it's not getting up to those high speeds as quickly. But it's fun to drive. Whack! Oh. Don't hit the boat. Touch the butt. Oh, man. So, yeah, like. It's pretty fun in this game just to get one of the cars like this and just like fully mod it and stuff and like get everything up to like max level. It's just fun to do that every now and then, but like it is a big grind because like I, I I think like for every time I do this you have to the cost of the base car and then like I don't know like twenty to fifty thousand on all of the visual shit. Like all of the bumper changes you can see here, the grill change, like the exhaust change, uh, anything like that. Like vinyls and paint are free in this, but like, yeah. And then it's like at least a quarter of a million to a million on just performance parts to get it to max level again. Then you can use the old parts that you have in your inventory, but obviously they're all like a grade below max level the whole time because they're the old parts your previous cars were holding on to. So it's like, oh, you can put everything to elite easily, so it's not useless. But like, you know, you kind of want it on max level, so it's a bit of a grind. I like the way the lights reflect off of this paint job and stuff, it's just a shame. Some of the visual shit doesn't work all the time in this game. Maybe it'd play better on PC. I don't even know if it's on PC. Ah! That's not tarmac, that's water. Fuck. Out of the way, crash man. So I'm trying to remember, but I think there's a Corvette Stingray in this game. Like the C3? C3? Maybe. Uh, so I want to get that next, but you know, if there's any other recommendations, I won't mind having a little look. Uh, there's also the Firebird and the Mercury Cougar, which is a weird choice, but okay. Mess around with that as well, and there was like a Lincoln or something, but I wasn't really interested in the Lincoln. I'm not sure about the Firebird because I feel like, oh, you know, like I'm never a huge Firebird fan. Not not the one that like, you know, it's like it's it's a car that's like done to death. 
you know, for me, it was just like, oh, okay, it's the Smokey and the Bandit car, we get it. <laughs> like, I actually prefer other GTOs and stuff, so. But I was never a huge Pontiac fan, so. It's just not a big brand from where I'm from. Or in New Zealand. It's this heat free race. Great, I don't have enough money. Fuck, this is a bust. What a waste of time, like, I fucking hate these paywall shit. It's not really, it's like an in-game currency, but like... Oh, hey guys, you're in night mode now. You've built up heat, yeah? Fuck you, you don't have enough money to enter this race. Why? Does that matter? Fuck you. Such a dick move. Because it's like, you can't make any money at night. Like, it's really hard to make money at night. To nearly impossible, so it's like, all you can earn is reps, so... It pretty much ruins this run immediately! So I'm just gonna fuck around now. It's frustrating. I don't think I could win a high heat race in this car anyway, like, it's a nice car and it's got good acceleration and power, but like... At the high end, which a lot of those high heat races have big, big straights, I think I'm gonna have trouble keeping up with everyone. There are some retro Lambos and the Ferrari F40, and I want to get those in this game as well, but they're really expensive, so I keep going, eh, I'll just do the muscle cars that are like 20,000 to buy, to 50,000 to buy for a modern one rather than, like, spend a million grinding for a million bank plus to get the F40 and then having to grind another million <laughs> to get it to, like, competitive level. It's just like, oh. But I'll have a little look at that at some point when I have more time than sense. Which might not be for some time. Yeah, nice engine sounds of this car, it's pretty good. Well, I'm still pulling ahead of them pretty easily, so it's obviously like, stats in this game are stupid. Like my Honda NSX is like, Four on the power scale and it makes it sound like wow this car has got no power at all it sucks and then you drive it and it's completely fine it's completely fine it's not muscle car levels of power because of course it isn't but it's like it's completely fine why are you complaining <laughs> why is the stat trying to tell me my NSXR is trash somewhere that they were remastering Most Wanted and uh, Carbon and stuff like that, but I'm not sure if that was a rumor. Also, how the hell are they going to get all the licensed music back? Because let's face it, they won't. They'll just put mumble rap in. <laughs> like, oh look, look at this good rap and like, like this good metal. Oh, no one listens to this shit anymore. So, okay, fine. Oh, I thought of another band that I used to listen to, but now never do. Block Party. I listened to literally two tracks of Block Party and was like, they're cool. And then stopped listening to them. I love being that asshole who says I told you so, by the way. A lot of my friends were like these huge indie nerds who were like, Oh yes, I'm so random. I listen to Razorlight and were like those guys. 
and they thought that they were really cool and like only the coolest people listen to Razor Light and the Klaxons and the Wombats and all of these stupid names, the kooks and things. And you're like, I always used to say to him, you're always seeing their like slamming metal, saying, oh, metal's not cool, metal's not this. Your fucking little like flavor of the month shit, your hipster shit of the moment, is not going to be popular. None of these bands are going to endure past two or four albums maximum. No, no, this is the new thing. Like, oh, playing guitars out of tune badly and thinking that you're artistic for having floppy hair. Well, you know, I guess some shit doesn't ever die, but you know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, okay, sure, it will still be here in a really big way in a few years, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself now, yeah, where the fuck are the Klaxons? Like, I didn't even hate the Klaxons or Razor Light. Like, they were just around. But, like, all of the people I knew who listened to them were such fucking snobs. Who were like, oh, this is real music. It's like, bitch, you don't know what real music is. Like, actually, from a musical perspective, they're playing out of tune. But okay, if it makes you feel happy. Literally, the, the guitarist of Kaiser Chiefs joined Kaiser Chiefs and they were like, can you play guitar? And he was like, no, and just kind of learn shit on the fly. Like, I'm not being funny, that's like very obviously style over substance. But whatever, like, you know, if you're a guitarist and I was really into guitar at the time, being good at guitar matters and it's a slap in the face when people are like, this band's really good and their guitarist is a fucking dumbass doesn't know how to hold the guitar properly, let alone, and you know that, that whole trend they had where they had to tighten the strap so it was like a necklace? Yeah, that was all my friends. And like, in hindsight, you know, all the bands I listen to, they're either still running or their band members are dead, and that's the only reason they're still not, they're not still touring, and people still like them and they're still a thing, and they have hundreds of albums or some shit, and they're really popular. And I'm sitting here thinking like, does anyone even know what happened to like, The View? The Wombats? The, you know, like, what happened to these? I'm actually interested, not in a kind of ha ha ha, just, you know, being an asshole. I win because Iron Maiden are still popular. <laughs> yeah, like, of course they are. But like, you know, to be honest, one band that I got, like, got really hit, I was obsessed with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And then I saw them live uh, on Stadium Arcadium tour, everything. And then John Frusciante left the band and I just went, I don't care. And they were like, we got a new guitarist, he's this guy. And I'm like, I don't care. And then I haven't listened to them since. Like, I can't tell you anything about them. And then I heard recently that John Frusciante's back. I'm like, oh, okay. And nothing against the, the new guy. I just, it was at that point in my life where I was like, I like the thing for what it is. Why did they change the thing? I'm sad now. <laughs> you know? And I was like... Man, what even happened to Kings of Leon? Holy shit, I didn't mind Kings of Leon. Fuck. And the Black Keys? Are these bands still around? Are they still a thing? I hope they're still a thing. I'm gonna try and do a speed trap because sometimes they give you money, but I think it might just be in the day. Otherwise I'm just gonna call it because it's like... You know, I can't generate money in this version, this mode. So it's like, I can't do the high heat race it, unless I grind off screens. So. Oh great, I just get rep and heat. Yeah. Freestyle, come on. Yeah. Just rep. Well, fuck. Kind of a bust. 
yeah, like I'm honestly confused where all these indie bands went. Obviously, I'm not part of that scene, so I wouldn't know. But normally, you see something come up, and they they're just all gone. Which is pretty funny, because the you know all of my friends' friends, quote unquote, who were like, "Oh my God, Coldplay is the best band ever," and like were constantly like obsessed with this stuff. Uh, like they were always so like proud of the idea that they were like it was always going to be there and I was like this feels really like faddy you know when you go into something and your fad detector goes off like you feel it's very flavor of the month very like oh you think this is a thing that will endure forever but it's like really of the moment and everyone's in a few years is going to go remember that thing Hey guys, remember mumble rap? <laughs> well, maybe that'll stick around, I don't know. I don't listen to any of it, so it's very on the sidelines for me. It's very fringe for me.